In this video, we're going to discuss some basic PC maintenance to keep your computer running smooth and fast. The first step in the process is to disable any startup programs that you don't actually need to start up with the computer. What you want to do is click the start button, then in the search box type in the following, msconfig, then press enter to continue. This window has many different options that can be changed and modified. If used incorrectly though, it can do more harm than good. So please, for this tutorial, only try to stay with the startup programs. The startup tab is what we're going to focus on. This list is a list of all the programs that would normally start up with your computer. Now as you can see, on the left hand side of anything in this list, there's a checkbox. Some of them are checked and some of them are not. The checked ones represent programs that I want to start up with the computer. The unchecked ones are programs that I do not want to start up with the computer. Now some programs do not need to start up with the computer in order to run. They may only be used situationally, let's say a word processor for example. You only need that when you need to type something. So your job now is to actually sort through this list, one by one, read them, and decide what don't you want to start up with the computer. Programs that you only use situationally are things you don't want starting up. Now keep in mind, any changes you make can be undone. If you accidentally disable something that you actually wanted to start up with the computer, you can go back after the fact upon next reboot and re-enable it just by checking the checkbox. Once you're satisfied with all your choices, press OK and restart the computer. The next thing we want to do is actually uninstall any programs we no longer use. They take up space and they're no longer needed. So what we want to do is actually go to Control Panel and go to the icon titled Programs and Features. In older versions of Windows, this would be titled Add and Remove Programs. Now in Programs and Features, you can see a list of the majority of programs that are actually installed in my computer. Some of them I don't want in the computer anymore. I don't use them and don't need them. So first thing we want to do is uh, go through the list, find something we don't want or need anymore, and up top, you will actually see next to the Organize tab up top, you will see an Uninstall button appear. Once you see that, you click it. That's all you have to do to start the uninstall process of any of these programs. Once you're satisfied with all your choices, as usual, close the window and restart the computer. Our next goal is to defragment your hard drive. The way a hard drive writes to itself is not very efficient. Over many months and years, files get split apart and stored in different areas of the hard drive, forcing the hard drive to move from the front to the back of itself, trying to find the different pieces of the hard drive. This can dramatically slow down your experience on your computer. Defragmenting the hard drive involves running a program that actually sorts through all this information and puts the files together in a much closer area so the hard drive has less trouble seeking out the information. But before we defragment the hard drive, we need to finish the cleanup process. And now we're going to actually run a program called CCleaner, which is short for Crap Cleaner because it's going to clean out all the crap. Now CCleaner is extremely easy. It has two main options, Analyze and Run Cleaner. First you want to analyze, which will check your computer to see what it needs to clean. Once it gives you a response and shows you these are the following files that are dirty or need to be cleaned up, you run the cleaner. Just click the button and that's it. Once it's done, you can close the program. Next, we're going to run a program called Defraggler. There are many different defragging programs, but this one is free and it's easy to use. When you run it, you're going to see a list of all the available hard drives in your computer. Now, if you look closely, my top hard drive, which is my C drive, to the right of it says SSD detected. That kind of hard drive, if you have an SSD hard drive, do not run the defragler program on it. It is not needed. You can skip this step if it says SSD. If not, and it, you know, on the bottom uh, graph window, it looks all messy with lots of different spaces, then you need to run it. Now as you can see, other work stuff, my E-Drive, has a lot of open gaps on the bottom. 
which means the information is definitely spread out through the hard drive, which we don't want on this hard drive, this other hard drive. Now, if I right click the icon and actually click analyze drive, it will give me a display on the bottom and color coordinate the information based upon how it's fragmented. Now the red and pink represent fragmentation. Uh, it's only 6% total for this hard drive right now, but I want to be a perfectionist right here and I want to make sure it's as low as possible. So I right click the icon for the uh, E drive again and I run it. Now this process can take minutes to hours. It all depends on what level of fragmentation and how big your hard drive is. If necessary, if it takes leaving your computer on all night once in a while to get this done, then you really should do it. It's of a benefit to you to get this done. Now once this last step is done, give your computer one more good restart and you're finished. That's it. These are some of the main things you should do to keep your computer in good health. Practice these steps at least once every two to three months and your computer should stay running smooth. If this video was helpful, then please give me a subscription. Alright guys, have fun, thanks a lot, and have a good day. If you have any ideas that you think would make a great video, please send us a message.